Hi, I am Miss Molly and I'm the class teacher of Year Zoo. I mean, Year Two. Well, never mind. Today I'll be telling you a story about bugs. Bugs from beyond. Or rather, on Beyond Bugs by Tish Ray and illustrated by Aristide Stories with teeny tiny editions by myself. Let's go. Enjoy. I am the cat in the hat. You may know me from stories like, well, you know, the cat in the hat. And I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects all around you. They live in the water, the earth and the sky. Just wait and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. You can't do that with my picture in the way now, can you? So I'll move my picture over here. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs, such as the praying mantis, the grasshopper, or as I call him, the grasshopper, the ladybird, the black ant, and the butterfly. Lots have wings and can fly, and all of them have six legs. Spiders aren't insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six oh, legs, oh my god, <laughs> they have eight. This is not funny. No, everyone knows. Miss Marley is terribly terrified of spiders. So let's not go back to that slide and continue over here. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its body is in parts and each insect has three. First, the head, then the thorax, and here at the end is the longest patch, patch part, which is called the abdomen. Right here. You all have one. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so I'm going to move myself down here again. So they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. We wish we had feelers we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name, Antony. And Kenny. That's right. Watch an insect and see all the things that it does. Some can swim, like the diving beetle. I personally have never seen a diving beetle before, but I have seen spiders waiting in the water, possibly for diving beetles. Others can jump, and if, if you've ever seen a dog flea, you know they jump really, really, really far. Or they crawl, like a caterpillar. Others chirp like the crickets in the bodies we've seen just now. Oh, there it is, that's a cricket. Others flash like the firefly or buzz like the bumblebee. I'm going to move my picture over again. I'm going to be that boy now. Birds and frogs look for insects or order to eat them. So insects work hard to make sure they don't need them. Some, like this wasp, have bright colors that say, Don't come near me! I'll sting you! Just stay away! This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it's resting upon so that no one can see it. This frog hopper sits and he spits out a bubble. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that now. It's wet and it's cool and it can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks nobody's home. Nobody's home. No, I'm just going to carry on. No one's home. Bye. Here's a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk and a ladybird let one another? When danger is near, it is easy to tell. They suddenly give off a terrible smell. Ugh. These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong they can lift things that weigh over ten times their weight. And they do it all day. All day, every day, no gym, just lifting seeds and other insects. So if you were as strong as an ant, you would see you could lift up ten cats in tall hats easily watch these honeybees and i'm sure you'll agree that these bees are so busy as busy can be worker bees collect food and they keep the hive clean they protect it from danger and wait 
on the queen. She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. Now imagine a chicken did that. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. Yeah, found food. Awesome. Yeah. First she wiggles and then she waggles and circles and so all the other bees know which direction to go. That way, that way you go. Uh -huh. Dancing this way. There, over there, maybe there. I don't know. Somewhere. You'll find it. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in the back of their knees. Have you ever tried doing that? Good things they can fly. This dust is called pollen. Next flower the bees find. When they land on it, they leave pollen behind. This is called, wait for it, pollination. It makes new seeds that grow into flowers that everyone needs. Let me move my picture again. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies and mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Have you ever wondered why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast and each time that it does, its wings make a sound you can hear in your ear. And this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. It's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky. Hmm. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite and they are hungry. They land and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Caterpillars do something you might think it's strange. They start out as one thing, then one day they change. Some make a small house on a branch just like this, and this home that they make is called a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new, well, I don't know, bee? Oh, no, it's a butterfly. Here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. Uh, not these feet, the other feet on the, on the floor. The ones you walk on. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off and on in the night. They are like tiny flashlights that float in the sky. And if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with a lid and watch them glimmer and glow. Then open the jar up and let them all go. All day and all night on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around, everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, the ladybird, and, and, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. The end. Bye.